Hi guys! I'm currently 37 weeks and 5 days pregnant and I guarantee you this is going to be my last pregnancy vlog. I know that I completely suck at vlogging and giving you pregnancy updates, but that's unfortunately how it's been and this is going to be the last one um, until I post her birth. So I thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, <clears throat> actually, who am I kidding? It's probably not going to be that quick because there is a lot going on right now. <laughs> so, um, let's see. The past few weeks, maybe like the last two or three weeks since I was about maybe 35 weeks pregnant, I've been extremely hungry, hungrier than I have ever been this whole pregnancy. I wake up in the middle of the night just to eat and, um... I, oh my gosh. I ate like so much Taco Bell. I ordered like $20 worth of Taco Bell the other night. I know, really bad. But I ate it. And then like five hours later, like I went to bed right after I ate it. And then five hours later, I woke up starving. Like that would never happen. <laughs> so it was kind of embarrassing, but... <laughs> But, you know, it is what it is. Um, surprisingly, I've only gained 16 pounds throughout this whole pregnancy so far. Um, which, I guess because I haven't been so hungry my entire pregnancy. It's only the last couple weeks that now I can't seem to get full. <laughs> but I guess that's a blessing, so. Yeah. Um... <coughs> I have had really bad nausea the past two weeks, not constantly, but um, maybe just a couple of times I really felt sick, like I felt like I had food poisoning, and I was pacing back and forth, I put my hair up in a ponytail, I thought that I was going to be hugging the toilet, and I was really scared because, you know when you brush your teeth when you're well, like, when you're pregnant and you brush your teeth, you gag because, I don't know, something about brushing your teeth is horrible. Well, and it hurts your stomach to gag like that. So, I was thinking, if I have food poisoning and I am dry heaving all night, I'm going to die. And I was terrified, but nothing happened and I was fine the next day. And Then I got nauseous the next day again and it was really bizarre. And then one morning I woke up and I had terrible diarrhea. Like, I haven't had diarrhea, actually, since I was a child, so that was weird, too. But, at my prenatal appointment, my midwife told me that there's a certain nerve underneath your uterus called the something-something, and with pressure on it and stuff, it can cause you to feel really nauseous, um, you might get, like, cold sweats or the chills or something like that, and... I was like, well, I definitely felt really sick, so I was thinking it's just because the baby's so big in there that my stomach is completely smushed, and here I am stuffing my face, so maybe that's why I'm feeling so sick, but I like that she had some kind of explanation for me, because I was kind of worried that I was, um, I don't know, maybe I've haven't been eating very well or something. I was screwing myself over somehow, but I guess it's normal. Oh, also, uh, one of my girlfriends who's just as far along pregnant as I am, um, one of my YouTube friends actually, she was having the same issues, I guess, like with nausea and diarrhea, so I was like, maybe it is a normal pregnancy thing in the last couple weeks of pregnancy, but yeah, who knows? Um, so I feel like I have not had Braxton Hicks con uh, contractions, like, this whole time. I've been sitting around waiting for them to happen, but I don't get uncomfortable, and I don't really feel like my stomach gets really hard. But my midwife said that I have probably been having them, I just don't realize it, because the majority of first-time moms don't really realize that they're having them. They just think that it's their baby and the position that the baby is in makes their tummy hard. But really, it's just your uterus tightening up. 
and um, she said some people it's really uncomfortable for them and then other people they just they don't even notice it it's harmless and last night my stomach got really hard and I had like the icky feeling of like a menstrual cramp like it wasn't really the painful cramp it was more just like oh my uterus feels icky well that's what I noticed first and then my sister-in-law was like oh my gosh your stomach is like rock hard and then that lasted for a good few minutes and I was like well maybe that must have been a Braxton Hicks contraction and then I realized I had this the other night I woke up went to the bathroom I went back to bed and I was laying there and my stomach had the same feeling and I was just like oh it doesn't feel that good like how am I supposed to fall asleep my tummy feels icky and it probably was a Braxton Hicks contraction. I don't know. And then I looked down at my feet, and my feet were swollen. And I haven't had, like, any swelling up until last night. So both things happened, or I noticed them um, all at once, which I thought was weird, because I've been waiting for this stuff to happen, so I would feel like I would have noticed it sooner. But, yeah. So I don't think I'm going to put my wedding ring on. Um... Maybe it will, but I don't know. I don't want it to get stuck on my hand if my hands start to swell. I have a week left of work, and then I can either add myself onto the schedule up until Melody gets here um, if I want, but I don't know if I'm going to want to. And so I have this week left of work, and then um, we'll just be waiting around for like a week until her arrival because we only have like two weeks left here two weeks and a few days so it's really getting down to crunch time we pretty much have everything we need there's still some last minute things that i really do need to get my hands on um but i'm not really worried about it we got walmart right down the street and whatever so the majority of everything's taken care of. I feel pretty content about it. I got my hospital bag ready. A super cute Betsy Johnson purse that my sister-in-law got for me. I'm going to use it as my diaper bag. So I have it filled up with everything right now for the hospital. Um, actually, I don't have like my camera and all that stuff in there because I'm still using it. But I got some little outfits to bring her home in the, from the hospital in. Um... Yeah, I can't wait to just see how cute she is going to be in these. Uh, when I look at the hospital bag, I get so excited because it just makes everything so realistic. Uh, what else have I bought? So, um, the, Spectra, well, the Spectra S2 is the uh, breast pump that I decided to go with over the Medela. Um, just because this one says that it's supposed to, it was made to compete with any hospital grade breast pump and um, there's a lot of great reviews on it and I just kind of wanted to give it a shot other than everyone uses Medela whatever so I thought this one just sounded really good and I wanted to give it a go so we'll see how that is I'm already leaking and producing colostrum which is pretty awesome I ran into someone at Subway the other day who had like a three-month-old baby and she was talking about how she didn't even produce anything up until um, some time after she gave birth and it was like this whole hassle or whatever and she's like if you're already producing then you'll probably have great production and let down and all that stuff or whatever so that's pretty good news I well, at least I'm being at least I have something to be hopeful um, about with the whole breastfeeding because that's our plan is to exclusively breastfeed uh, so I'm not really stressed out about it which I'm just glad that I'm really hoping everything goes good I mean of course there could be things that doesn't always work out how you want it to but so far the signs are pointing to I think things will be pretty good on for us um, let's see we also got this uh, from someone who bought this off our registry and it's the <clears throat> first year's co-sleeper <clears throat> I don't really have a preference whether co-sleeping is a good or a bad thing um, maybe if it was prolonged for a while I would see that it was uh, maybe too much of an attachment 
issue or something but for the first couple months with breastfeeding and everything I really think that having the baby right there easy access um, sit up in bed and just can breastfeed uh, her would just be super convenient I mean this thing has a built-in nightlight and all that good stuff so I'm excited to try this thing out and what I am super thrilled about <clears throat> is this um, Fisher Price Auto Rock and Play. And <clears throat> these are awesome. People use them as a bassinet and they use them as just something to put the baby in while they're busy doing chores or whatever they need to do. Um, I had a friend who used it and she loved it and she, the, it was the baby's bed. I don't know it just it really did wonders but the thing is is that it never used to be auto you always had to rock it manually with with your hand or something and I always thought that would be kind of a pain in the butt because the baby loves the rocking and then you gotta be next to it the whole time just to get it to rock well now they made it automatic so that's really cool I'm really excited thank you Aunt Shelly for getting this for me um, this is definitely like one of the things that I knew I had to have um, uh, not that I plan on having Melody in it 24 7 or anything like that I don't even know if we're gonna have her always sleeping in it uh, probably not but <clears throat> it's just nice to have um, we also got a wing um it's an older version i got it from a thrift store it's in like great condition but uh i just i didn't want to spend like a hundred dollars on a swing and i really wanted one because i remember with my younger siblings um how much they loved the swing and i just really 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 wanted one so the fact that i found that at a thrift store for 10 bucks in great condition and it works and everything I mean it does everything that everyone else needed to do I looked it up everything looks really good it's a great go so um, safe and secure whatever so I'm pretty freaking really happy that I was able to do that plus also it matches our glider which has my makeup and stuff all over right now but it's the same like green color which is so cute um, <clears throat> okay what else? Uh, la la la. So I've just been organizing. I've been like redecorating the house. I don't know if that's part of nesting, but um, I don't know. You can kind of tell stuff looks a little hectic around here. And I just really want to create a cozy, homey um, atmosphere for when I bring the baby home. I, like, want to get a rug, a new couch, <laughs> a TV stand, not some giant. We have. A part of David's desk David's desk is currently in the living room we don't have an office for him currently we don't plan on staying here for long but right now his office is here in the living room and his desk can divide into chunks and it's a huge desk so we have we're using part of it as the TV stand it just takes up so much space in the living room it's kind of fugly <laughs> so I don't know I want to make it like I said more homey and cozy for when we have the baby here um, I have all her stuff, newborn stuff, things that we can use right off the bat, all ready to go, except for I still have to launder everything, um, but pretty much everything's pretty good. Uh, I still have, a, like I said earlier, a couple things I have to buy, like I want to get some um, breast milk storage bags for the freezer, I don't have a drying rack for bottles, I don't even really have any bottles. I don't know guys it's we're cramming it up here but I know we'll we'll figure it out that's for sure um let's see sleeping is not so uncomfortable I have my body pillow which I can't I wouldn't be able to sleep if I didn't have it the body pillow really has helped I, who needs a maternity pillow like literally just get a body pillow it does the same thing it's awesome um, I wake up like two to three times a night to pee and once to eat but it's usually just super early morning hours that I have to go that I wake up to eat so I just kind of stay up and then I take a afternoon nap 
um, stretch marks are still non-existent except for just tiny tiny little like not even as long as the end of my pinky um, little beginnings of stretch marks that I've had for several weeks so I don't think they're really gonna go anywhere they just made a little appearance and that's what's hope I'm hoping that's what's gonna stay I've just been putting coconut oil on for the most part after a shower not even every day and um, maybe that's what's working or maybe I don't know if it's hereditary then I'm just one of the lucky ones but I'm pretty sure I remember my mom had a lot of stretch marks so I don't know um <clears throat> my ribs still are uncomfortable they're not as bad as they used to be so I guess that means that baby is uh, lower now she's not quite sinking down though my uh, last prenatal appointment was yesterday or not my last one but the last one that I had was yesterday and she said that you know baby's head down and everything but it's not quite making her way down um, which is good but definitely my ribs feel a lot better still a little uncomfortable my back gets uncomfortable my lower back it's not so bad but if I it just starts to hurt after while I'm working you know and um, yeah we're at weekly appointments and everything's looking good so I'm really excited baby's gonna be here in just a little over two weeks or less we don't know my mom said that I was six days early and I was her first baby and so my midwife said that who knows maybe Melody could make an early uh, debut which would be really exciting because I really I just want her here already we all do we're so impatient um, and she said that I had good birthing genes and I was like <laughs> I know but uh, yeah so like honestly my uh, whole expectation of labor and everything I'm not against having an epidural uh, just so just so everyone knows I'm not trying to go all natural but um, who knows if I, if it's really easy for me maybe I will be like yeah I'm just gonna go for it my mom said that with the first of us me and my brother, she did it natural. And then by when she had my sister, she had the epidural. And she was like, dude, just do an epidural. It's so much easier. I don't know why I didn't do it the first few times. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So my plan is just, it's going to be fine. It's going to be easy. I have a really positive outlook. I'm talking really fast here. Sorry. I'm trying to, like, finish this up before my camera shuts off on me um, again. But... Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about it. I have a really positive outlook and expectation of the whole event, even if something bad does happen. I know that I'm going to be taken care of. I know that my body is completely capable of doing what it is meant to be doing. And I love my body for that. I'm just really excited to meet Melanie. And I know that with, um, with all the support that I have from my loved ones and my family, that everything's going to be completely fine and it's going to be the best day of our lives. So with that, this is my last, uh, this is my last pregnancy update. So next time you see me, it will either be just a daily vlog, probably not, or my birth vlog. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So anyways, if you want more current up-to-date whatever's on me, then follow me on IG, Instagram, uh, Jill Deef, J-I-L-L-D-I-E-F. I'll put it down in the description box, but I post like weekly updates and stuff like that on there too, so okay, bye guys! But this is 37 weeks and 5 days. I have so many veins in my stomach and yeah, no stretch marks, hardly. So that is that.